Hey everyone, it's Jesse. I think probably the beginning of every video I make is the same. Anyway, so I uh, booked top surgery. It's gonna be on September 5th and it's amazing. It's like seven in the morning, so I'm a little bit tired. But um, I can. Uh, I'm also getting picked up soon, so I might have to finish this later. But anyway, I booked surgery for September fifth with Hugh McLean, and I have the money to pay for it. I actually don't really have oh, um, a lot of money. Otherwise. I'm applying for employment insurance, and that'll take like a month to go through. But I kind of just don't even care. Like, I'm not really worried. I just know that everything's going to be fine, and everything's going to fall into place. Um, and I just, like, can't fucking wait. Like, the closer I get to actually having surgery, the more impatient I'm becoming. And I just, oh, I just can't wait to be free. To never have to wear a binder again. To like feel fabric on my skin. Um, I've actually been like experiencing quite a bit of pain from binding lately. I mean like I always felt pain but it's become like pretty bad. I kind of have misshapen ribs on this one side. So like over here doesn't matter I'm wearing a shirt but over here my ribs stick out and then closer to my sternum at the bottom they stick in more and in that spot where it sticks in I get like sharp pains even if I'm not binding like if I'm sleeping on my stomach or like there's too much pressure there I get like really sharp pains and actually my skin above that spot is completely numb like I have about this much skin that I can't feel at all which is probably not good. So it'll be good to not have to bind anymore, and not have to worry about chronic injuries and pain. I mean, I'm gonna have to deal with some pain for a little while, but it'll be worth it. Um, I've been, like I, I have vivid dreams every night. Like I'm, I'm a total dreamer, and I've actually, the past few months, um, like, when I see myself in a dream, I'm either, like, freshly post-op or, like, healed, but I most of the time have had surgery. So it's really cool how my, like, subconscious is kind of already adjusting to this new physical reality. It's like my mind is preparing for how my body is going to change and it's like kind of ahead of the game which is really cool and it's really nice to have dreams where I have a flat chest and I'm like swimming in the sunshine or just being really comfortable so that's nice um I also wanted to talk oh some more exciting information my good buddy Wynn is getting surgery on the exact same day as me. And if you don't follow her um, YouTube, I'll put the link down there. But it's amazing. We're going to just be bums together. And we're going to watch TV. And it's going to be so nice because it's going to be September and it's still going to be nice outside and everyone's going to be doing outdoorsy things. So it'll be nice to have someone who's like going through the healing process with me, and that's really exciting. Um, and my mom is coming to take care of me. And that's so nice. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll be back. I just recorded the whole rest of the video, and it just didn't record. So I'm going to do this again. Anyway, so my mom is coming to take care of me which is really nice. I spoke with her on the phone a couple weeks ago and told her that I had booked surgery and when it was, and she said that she wanted to come out and take care of me. And 
that's a huge deal for me. I really appreciate it because she really doesn't have a lot of money. So I know that booking a plane ticket is a big deal and it's just so sweet. And she just keeps telling me that she just wants me to be happy and she wants to take care of me while I'm healing. And it's just so nice. Um, what else? Oh, fucking, I wish that other video didn't delete. Just a second. Oh. Okay. And, yeah, so, Wynn's getting surgery at the same time as me. My mom is coming to take care of me. Um, awesome top surgery dreams. Oh, another thing that I wanted to talk about that I've been thinking about a lot is, um, showing my chest on YouTube. Um... I'm going to show my surgery results, uh, but I, the reason that I want to show my results uh, is because there aren't that many results from Hugh McLean on YouTube, and anyone who did show their results, like, really helped me make the decision to go to him. And it was really helpful to see their progression um, through the healing process. And since there aren't that many results, I kind of wanted to add to that pool of people to uh, help other people like me um, do their research. Uh, the reasons that I wouldn't want to show my chest on YouTube is that it's the internet and that's scary and anyone could see it. And I'm actually a pretty private person um like I'm not gonna be showing pictures of my chest on Facebook I'm not even telling everyone that I'm getting top surgery um just people who are close to me and people who are in my community know about it and some close family family members uh so yeah so it's kind of, it was kind of a decision to make, but I made the decision, and I'm going to show my chest anyway. Um, and I also wanted to talk a bit about my appreciation for the people who have shown their results, and, um, yeah, shown their chests on YouTube which is the big worldwide internet, which is kind of scary. I mean, it's not scary for everyone, but... Um, and just, like, the variety of different body types. Um, and I know that, like, in the trans-masculine um, FDM community, there's, like, this whole culture of being really into your muscles and really into having a fit body and like being proud of that body which is cool um and I've been guilty of that too like I've definitely talked about my muscles and shown my muscles on YouTube um but not everyone has a body like that or wants to and I really appreciate all of the people who um, have different kinds of bodies and show them on YouTube and you're all beautiful and thank you. I know it's hard and, um, we don't all feel great about our bodies. I know, like, a lot of the guys that I see showing the results who maybe aren't, like, as muscular as other guys are like, oh... Um, you know, still planning to lose some weight and gain some muscle. And so you can definitely tell that there's like some feelings of being a bit uncomfortable with their body, but they're still showing their body for the benefit of people like me. And I just think that's great. And you should be proud of your bodies because you look great. And I love you. And I hope that makes sense. 
Um, I don't think I need to talk to any about anything else. I have my pre-op appointment on August 21st. And that's also when I have to pay the rest of my surgery costs. I paid already a down payment of 10%, which was like $678. The total cost of surgery is $6,780. I'm getting double incision. Yeah. Um, so... I don't know when I'll make another video. I don't think too much is going to happen between now and my pre-op appointment. So maybe it'll be around then. Or maybe I'll think of something else I want to talk about before then. Um, oh, I also wanted to apologize to anyone who maybe wrote a message to me in the past little while. And I know that I got some uh, new subscribers, so thanks for subscribing. That's great. Um, but I've been in the bush and I haven't had the internet, so... Uh, I will try to get back to you ASAP, and yeah, that's all. Okay, well, have a good day.